Previously, we created a few templates by saving out the different views, our front, three-quarter, and side view. In addition to this, you can also save what's something called an action template. And that is to say that you can have animations stored and then you can use them later. So what we're going to do here is create a simple animation. Uh, the document we're using is SRIG Action Templates. And we already have an eye blink set up here. But what I want to do is go ahead and have our character tilt her head to the side and maybe actually put our hands on her hips uh, right when she's doing that. And we're going to save that animation out. So what we'll do here is we'll make sure our animate button is turned on. And I'm going to go about in frame eight here and I'll select our master peg layer. Insert a keyframe, F6. And I'm going to scrub my playhead a little bit further. And just before she opens up her eyes totally, I'm going to go ahead and drop in another keyframe, F6. And I want to go ahead and just click on the head here. Let's try to find the head peg. Let's see if I can go over to my tool properties and click selection mode. All right. And so this is basically saying that I want the peg selection mode. So it's going to click on just the peg there. Now I have the entire head peg there and I'm going to tilt that to the side. All right. Not too bad. And what I want to also do is on the same frame, I'll click on this arm here and come up to show selected deformation. And maybe I'll bend the arm up a little bit. Now I could swap out the hand, but I'm just going to keep it very simple right now. Move that there. Grab the other arm. Show that deformation. All right. So we have the before and then there. So what I'll do now, um, and basically I have my stop motion keyframe on. Uh, you may have yours turned off, which means that I've automatically tweened. So I'm going to go ahead and select that first keyframe and simply press Command K and that now tweens it. So we should now be able to scrub and make sure that's working right. Now we've got a few little things that are acting weird. I think our legs are acting weird there. So I'm going to undo that. And I'm going to go ahead and expand our peg here to see what's going on. So I'm going to make sure I drop in an actual keyframe on the arms. And make sure the pupils are doing the same thing here. Let's collapse the pupils peg. I don't see a keyframe there. Let's drop in a keyframe here. And this is a way of troubleshooting if you notice anything seems off. All right. All right, so I've gone in and added those extra keys there. So in theory, if we try this once more, I'm going to go ahead and collapse the master peg. And let's just do command K. All right, that's not bad. Only weird thing is the leg is doing something strange there. So we'll go down and find the legs here. Let's do Command L, which will turn off the tween, and Command L, which will turn off the tween there. So now if we scrub, we 
you just see the legs are standing still. We got the blink. And she does that little head tilt. All right, last little thing. So we've got our torso here. I also want to drop in a keyframe here. Let's do F6. And what I can do is I'll select the body there and let's go up and show our selected deformers. I'm going to collapse that for a moment. And what I want to do here is come to the torso. And this is on the frame where everything is uh, kind of tilted. And I actually want to maybe bend here a little bit that way. So now what we have is a simple little thing. And again, we could probably go on, on another pass and clean up what's happening with the hands. But I just want to show you this really quick. And I have my stop set at 20 frames so we can play this a little bit. All right. And let's do one last thing. Select the hair. Let's turn off our peg selection mode. Grab the hair. And maybe we'll tilt that a little bit. And grab the top hair and tilt that as well. Okay. So there is our animation. Now let's create an action template. So if I go to my library, I'm going to expand this a little bit. We have our Miss Peel library. What I want to do is go ahead and select these keyframes. So I'll hold on my shift key and grab both of those. And I'll click and drag this straight to the library. Now it's not going to let us right now because I don't have that unlocked. So I'm going to right click on the Miss Peel library. Click right to modify. And then I'll drag this straight to the library. And what I can call this is MP tilt blink. All right. So we'll say okay. And last but not least, I'll come here. And I'm going to get rid of these keys. I'll simply press F7. And so none of that animation is there other than the uh, eye blink. And that's where we started. So I'm going to turn off my animate button. And I'll even turn off my deformations here. So what I want to show you is how an action template can be used. So let's say we have a different episode and we and she does her patented little look where she just tilts and looks really weird at someone and just blinks at them. So I'm just going to grab this template and drag this down to this timeline. And if you notice, this turns orange and you see this even uh, range of frames. And that's basically how long the animation will be. And if I let this go, there's our animation. So if you've actually created something as simple as an eye blink or maybe something as complicated as a walk cycle, you can save those out as an action template. And that way you don't have to repeat the animation that you've already created. This definitely comes in handy for productions because you can save a lot of time.